after watching or viewing the Dhamma talk given by Prajan at uh, Nakhon Rajasima uh, Rajapat Institute uh, the end of uh, August uh, 30, uh, 2010, uh, you have, I mean, uh, appreciate or enjoy the show given by Prajan uh, to one approximately 100 students. I hope uh, you enjoy the Dhamma talk. So as a moderator, I would like to thank everyone for this event, especially Novice Jim, uh, the co-lecturer uh, or who, I mean, uh, invited to um, answer uh, question and answer to help uh, answer the question to the students. So, and as well for the Ajahn Prapit, uh, one of the lecturer at the English program, and as well for the Rajapat Nakhon Rajasima uh, Institutes for this opportunity, for all of uh, to the administrators, uh, Rajapat administrators. I hope if you enjoy the show, enjoy the Dharma talk, and next time I have more. I uh, mean a series of Dharma talk to all of audience. So today, thank you for your viewing. If you have any question, any doubts, or any comment you would like to share, we as a Buddhist Sangha youth welcome uh, your suggestion. Thank you very much. Samrap Jat Yom Thirap Chom Rai Kaan Doi Japa Thamma Banyai Thi Prajan ได้บรรยายไปเมื่อวันที่30สิงหาคมพุทธศักราช2553ที่ผ่านไปแก่นักศึกษาราชพัฒโคราชโปรแกรมภาษาอังกฤษไปแล้วนั้นประมาณสัก 1,000 คนแล้วก็มีพระอาจารย์พระนิสิตจากมอจรหรือมหาวิทยาลัยมหาจุฬาลงกรณ์ราชวิทยาลัยมารับฟังด้วยประมาณกับเกือบ20รูปรวมทั้งมหามงกุฎราชวิไลนอกจากนั้นเรายังมีนักศึกษามาจากสถาบันเมชีอัปชาบดีที่อำเภอปักธงชัยจังหวัดนครราชสีมาก็ร่วมรับฟังในการบรรยายคราวครั้งนี้ด้วยโยมจะสังเกตว่าบรรยากาศของการบรรยายนั้นเป็นไปด้วยความราบรื่นและนักศึกษาต่างให้ความสนใจในการฟังธรรมทอกเป็นอย่างยิ่งนะก็ขอให้ญาติโยมจงสนับสนุนเยาวชนคนของเราให้ได้ศึกษาไม่เฉพาะเพียงาภาษาอังกฤษภาษาต่างประเทศเท่านั้นแต่ยังได้รับชมในได้ศึกษาในเรื่องของธรรมะอีกด้วยอาตมาหวังเป็นอย่างยิ่งว่าราชพัฒอื่นๆก็สามารถที่จะนำไปปรับใช้ได้นะฮะก็นิมนต์รูปไหนที่ท่านเก่งภาษาอังกฤษเพื่อเป็นการแลกเปลี่ยนทัศนะให้แก่เยาวชนคนของชาติซึ่งเป็นอนาคตของชาติจะได้ศึกษาธรรมะต่อไปก็อนุโมทนาที่รับชมในคราวครั้งนี้สำหรับสุดท้ายของรายการ in the end of the show I would like to thanks all of you so see you next time same time same place until then anyone know karma volitional action karma the next one meditation Anyone know meditation? Hello? Meditation? Meditation? Yes, I, I hope you are familiar with this. And the last one, Apamada, heedlessness. Heedlessness. So that's why the Dharma of the Buddha start with Apamada. Right now you see this is the end of the Buddha teaching. The Buddha keep us about the heedlessness, apamada, kwam mai pramad, in the last word, the last teaching of the Buddha. So I think it's uh, this of the basic teaching. Next, I would like to pose the question, why basic Buddha Dharma initial emphasis is on dukkha? Why the Buddha start with dukkha? 
Anyone know? The dukkha, the definition. Dukkha is birth. Dukkha is aging or dukkha is dead. Dukkha is sorrow, lamentation, pain, grief. So only dukkha, one word. You know, in English, maybe more than 20 words. The meanings of the dukkha in Buddhism, right? I think it's, uh, if you're familiar with this clip, we call the uh, Kisa Kodami. I want you to see some of the clips here about the Kisa Kodami. I think it's, uh, I can show you about the Kisa Kodami. I think it's uh, so important for all of you to understand about uh, why the Buddha, he start with the Dukkha. If you cannot understand Dukkha, you cannot understand the lies. You cannot understand. You have any sounds? Yes. The Dukkha. This lady, what, what's her name? Kisa Kodami, correct. Kisa Kodami lost her beloved one. Why Kisa Kodami lost and then she got a loss of difficulties? She had a loss of trouble. She went from here and there to find the medicine. To find the medicine for what? To find the medicine for her newborn baby, but her newborn baby died, this one. Let's see, already died. Very sad, lost beloved one. Went to the Buddha, the Buddha said, sister, I can heal you. She got a big surprise. No one could help her at all. But the Buddha, Superman, because can heal her child. She got a joy, a loss of joy. The Buddha said, Sister, I can heal you, but only one condition. You have to go and get the mustard. The mustard, Lord, Kisa Kodami said, Lord, I appreciate. I find and get the mustard for you. If you can help my, my dead baby. But finally, the Buddha said, Sister, could you please find the mustard? Only in the house where no one died. But just only on condition of no house with, without the dead person. But Kisa Kodami went from here and there to get but cannot find any mustard. Even can find mustard but not first mustard from the house where someone never died. Every house has the, the dying person or the, the dead person. And finally, she realized, oh, I got, we have to lose. Lost what? We have to lose the beloved one. She realized the reality. You see, I think in uh, this story, the Buddha said, association with the unbeloved one is dukkha. Separation, uh, separation from the love is dukkha. Not getting what is wanted is dukkha. In short, the five clinching aggregates are dukkha. All of this about the dukkha, about the suffering. 
I think it's uh, all of you. No one never experienced, never encountered suffering. Everyone experienced suffering, even me, even who, whoever. That's why Buddhism starts with suffering. The function of the suffering for all of you to accept, you have to understand, to accept. If you never accept the problems, if you never accept the dukkha, you cannot find the way out of the problem, like Kisa Kodami in the time of the world. She finally accept the problem, accept the dukkha, and realize it's like a surgery to understand what the light is. One day we have to leave the beloved one. We have to separate the beloved one. Like you, someday you have to take apart from your beloved one, your father, your mother. The Tibetan sayings, they have the saying like this. When you born into this world, you come alone. When you renounce or when you give up this world, you also go alone. Never anyone come with you. Never anyone go with you. Even they want to go with you. But never want to go with you when you lost your life. You just only go by yourself, right? So that's why this is the dukkha. You have to experience the dukkha by to see, by seeing it, by understanding it, and finally by accepting it. For example, if you are broken heart, the first thing you have to accept it. The first thing not, not take drink, not take alcohol. No, that's not the way. The way is to accept. Accept, oh, I'm broken. I have to accept that. And then maybe you just only meditate and back to yourself, try to understand yourself, through yourself, by yourself, and finally for yourself, or even for your society, for your dear and near society. For example, your father, your mother, your family. So this is how to deal with the dukkha. This is a contemporary definition of the dukkha. As I mentioned, more than 20 words in English word about dukkha. It's very hard to understand. In Buddhism, the classification of the dukkha, we have three main uh, categories of dukkha. One, we call suffering or pain. The second, we call a permanence or change. We parimana dukkha. And the last one, conditioned states, okay? Sufferings or conditioned state. There are three dukkha. Why the Buddha tried to point out the three kind of dukkha? To let you understand the meaning of the dukkha. The first thing, ordinary dukkha or ordinary suffering is mean, for example, the mental, the physical or emotional pain. When you got suffering, right? In your daily life, you hurt me. For example, I hunger, I hungry. You get hunger, you thirsty, whatever. This kind of the ordinary suffering. But sometimes you don't know it's suffering. That's why the Buddha, the hunger is the suffering in the world, right? So next, the impermanent, the change with parimana dukkha. With parimana dukkha, it means anything that is not impermanent. The thing that's uh, change, very change, and change all the time. So that's why you have to deal with the light correctly. Otherwise, if you cannot deal with your light correctly, I think it's a, that's a big problem. Why it's a big problem? It's a big problem for all of you to understand about uh, how to deal with the lies, you know. In our lives, so very difficult to understand 
the, the dukkha, if you cannot understand the three categories of the dukkha, and then you can point out what is going on. I think it's uh, very needed in our daily life, right? To understand and to accept the dukkha. Some of the Western, I mean, uh, Western people, they blame Buddhism. Oh, Buddhism, nothing. The Buddha talk only about the dukkha, about the suffering, because they don't understand the meaning of the suffering. But right now, in the modern age, Westerners, they try to turn to Buddhism more and more because they got experience of dukkha. They got experience of the suffering. That's why I think it's a, this is a great opportunity for us, you know, to understand more about suffering, to understand more about the, the, the life, to understand more about the, the suffering, especially in our, in our daily lives. So important, you know, not just only you stop with the, 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 the dukkha, you have to understand more about the next step. What is the cause of the dukkha? That is in the second level we call the samudaya, right? The samudaya so important. The Buddha start with the Im important uh, dukkha in our daily life. You know, he try to point out step by step to understand more and more about dukkha. I'm sorry, I have to start with the 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 uh, office uh, two two thousand ten. <laughs> Otherwise, I think it's it's not update what I have prepared. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, next. I would like to show you with some the idea of the the dukkha more the next step okay let's see the third level of the dukkha the third level of the dukkha right uh, the third level very deep is mean deep uh, condition state of the dukkha I would like to share you with the song Ajahn Sam. Can you have the sound for me? I will let the student to listen to hear the song. Yes, some song. Any technician to help me with the modern technology? <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's helped me a lot to, to help to show you with the, how I would like to present to you through uh, modern technology and then help you understand more about Dhamma. Okay, let me back to the Dukkha again. A condition state, the condition state, to be conditioned is to be dependent on or affected by something else according to, I'm sorry, uh, because the third level, this is the most part of the teaching, you know, why the most part, the, the difficult part of the teaching of the Dukkha, because very deep inside, you cannot understand. Because uh, sometimes you cannot see with the bare eyes. You have to use insight. You have to meditate. And then you can understand this kind of dukkha. Right? Otherwise, if you never practice meditation, why some of the, the famous monks the famous master, you know, he teach meditation, he practice meditation, a uh, sitting meditation for one hour, two hours, or three hours, and then he got a loss of pain because of his bad karma in the past. Sometimes he, his, uh, I mean, uh, do, uh, did harm to the animal, did the harm to others, and to others the wound artist, and then when he practiced meditation, he got this experience of the dukkha. Maybe some of the master, he used to break the frog legs, which to destroy the insect, the box, whatever, and when he more and more practiced meditation deeper and deeper, he got inside and he really find the condition of the state or the, the, the dukkha, okay? 
So sound okay, ready? Yes, please help. So through the change, I want to share you with this song, and I would like you to sing this song. Okay, everyone. Please read this song, and then you will understand the dukkha. Okay. I would like you all together when we're waiting for the man who prepare the song, uh, prepare the song for this. I would like you to read together. I hope you can read English. Yeah, you're from English program, right? So please help me. Um, right now I think is uh, I have to uh, asking for some assistance. Okay, please read together, sentence by sentence. A uh, one, two, three. Oh, I'm sorry. I think it's uh, we are talking to 1,000, not only one person. So please read aloud. Okay, once again. One, two, three. Also, venerable monks and none as well. <laughs> please read aloud. One, two, three. Oh, I'm sorry. Really louder, more than this. I think better, okay? I'm not satisfied. I think uh, maybe all of you maybe not hungry. It's not lunch time. <laughs> okay. So let's start again. One, two, three. The three. Okay, next. The truth. No, faster than this. In. I'm not happy, I'm not happy. You got zero. You know, I give you zero marks. Okay, once again, because if you want to understand. Okay, once again, and faster, and please read from your heart, not from your just only speech. The speech from your heart, and then the song will be beautiful. Okay? Once again, please. And continually. One, two, three.
after watching or viewing the Dhamma talk given by Prajan at uh, Nakhon Rajasima uh, Rajapat Institute uh, the end of uh, August uh, 30, uh, 2010, uh, you have, I mean, uh, appreciate or enjoy the show given by Prajan uh, to one, approximately 100 students. I hope uh, you enjoy the Dhamma talk. So as the moderator, I would like to thank everyone for this event, especially Novice Jim, uh, the co-lecturer uh, or who, I mean, uh, invited to um, answer uh, question and answer to help uh, answer the question to the students. So, and as well for the Ajahn Prapit, uh, one of the lecturer at the English program, and as well for the Rajapat Nakhon Rajasima uh, Institute for this opportunity for all of uh, to the administrators, uh, Rajapat administrators. I hope if you enjoy the show, enjoy the Dharma talk, and next time I have more I uh, mean a series of Dhamma talk to all of audience. So today, thank you for your viewing. If you have any question, any doubts, or any comment you would like to share, we as a Buddhist Sangha youth welcome uh, your suggestion. Thank you very much. Samrap Jat Yom Thirap Chom Rai Kaan Doi Japa Thamma Banyai Thi Prajan ได้บรรยายไปเมื่อวันที่30สิงหาคมพุทธศักราช2553ที่ผ่านไปแก่นักศึกษาราชพัฒโคราชโปรแกรมภาษาอังกฤษไปแล้วนั้นประมาณสัก 1,000 คนแล้วก็มีพระอาจารย์พระนิสิตจากมอจรหรือมหาวิทยาลัยมหาจุฬาลงกรณ์ราชวิทยาลัยมารับฟังด้วยประมาณกับเกือบ20รูปรวมทั้งมหามงกุฎราชวิไลนอกจากนั้นเรายังมีนักศึกษามาจากสถาบันเมชีอัปชาบดีที่อำเภอปักธงชัยจังหวัดนครราชสีมาก็ร่วมรับฟังในการบรรยายคราวครั้งนี้ด้วยอโยมจะสังเกตว่าบรรยากาศของการบรรยายนั้นเป็นไปด้วยความราบรื่นและนักศึกษาต่างให้ความสนใจในการฟังธรรมทอกเป็นอย่างยิ่งนะก็ขอให้ญาติโยมจงสนับสนุนเยาวชนคนของเราให้ได้ศึกษาไม่เฉพาะเพียงภาษาอังกฤษภาษาต่างประเทศเท่านั้นแต่ยังได้รับชมในได้ศึกษาในเรื่องของธรรมะอีกด้วยอาตมาหวังเป็นอย่างยิ่งว่าราชพัฒอื่นๆก็สามารถที่จะนำไปปรับใช้ได้นะฮะก็นิมนต์รูปไหนที่ท่านเก่งภาษาอังกฤษเพื่อเป็นการแลกเปลี่ยนทัศนะให้แก่เยาวชนคนของชาติซึ่งเป็นอนาคตของชาติจะได้ศึกษาธรรมะต่อไปก็อนุโมทนาที่รับชมในคราวครั้งนี้สำหรับสุดท้ายของรายการ in the end of the show I would like to thanks all of you so see you next time same time same place until then <coughs>